right, the cam is in, stall converter is in. Let's talk about it. Hot damn. Hot damn. Look at that t-shirt, man. That t-shirt's hot damn sexy. Hot damn. Hot damn. Hot damn sexy, man. First and foremost, shout out to Joey Bellagio for the cool t-shirt. Hot damn t-shirt. Fits well. I'm actually on the way to the gym, so I'm gonna rock this shirt. It's Sunday. I started a video yesterday, but it started pouring out. And I was driving and making the video, and it was pouring so hard you couldn't even hear me talk. That's how bad it was. This road's hot. Bloody. almost flooded the truck through a two-foot puddle. It downpoured, it was really bad. But shout out to Joey Bellagio, Custom Black Guns, Hot Damn Racing Team as well. You can subscribe to both of those, the two different channels, Custom Black Guns and Hot Damn Racing Team. Hot Damn. Also a shout out to Luke Wischer. I forgot this was coming, brother. Thank you. This is, this is awesome. Plasma cut, piece of steel, Dodge emblem. Love it, man. This is gonna go in the garage. It might even go in the living room. I think it's pretty sweet. I love it. Also came with a letter. Mike, thanks for all you do for Tune Rams and the great content on the channel. Cheers, brother. Nah, man, cheers to you, man. Thank you very much. I totally forgot it was coming. Glad to see it. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, let's talk cam install. I have the HPT cam installed by Mr. Rojay down at the Cape. That was a fun little project. I was there for a couple days and we had fun installing it. There's a couple videos on that, but let's start with the cam. I mean, it's not much to say. There's definitely a noticeable amount of power with the HPT cam. The idle does not need a low tune. It idles fine by itself. It sounds awesome. Uh, there's low end power, mid power, high end power. You know, you could be coming out of the hole. I did a pull out of the hole. In four wheel drive, and it pulls like a bat out of hell. You could be going 50 to 60 and step on it. There's a lot of pull there. And you know, an 80 roll, the thing moves as well on the highway, very, very well. Of course, that's because the stall. The stall helps a lot. I noticed with the cam, the upper valve train noise is down a little bit it's not as loud I do have uh, shorty headers and you can hear obviously noise through them but engine noise has gone down a little bit with the new springs in the cam kit you can check the cam specs on mosperformance.com if you're interested in knowing what the cam specs are and the cam I mean that's about it it's noticeable power absolutely especially low end I got a crew cap short bed it's almost 6,000 pounds probably is full weight Laramie and she's pulling great right now. It's tough to, to to really, I was boosted before, so it's tough to st step down a little bit and go NA, you know, because the, the power band's different. On a boosted motor, the power band's, you know, from three grand up, or even four grand up. Um, being NA, you know, you, now I, I got power all the time throughout the whole band, so it's, it's just placed differently, but I enjoy being NA now, I don't have to worry about any problems. And yes, the can was worth it. The can was absolutely worth it. It's a little expensive, a lot of, a lot of labor involved. The kit can be anywhere from $1,700 to $2,000. And the labor, you know, that can that can jump up too, depending on who's doing it. But Roger did a great job. It's running great. And I highly recommend a cam. Even if you boost it or stay in NA, the cam's the way to go. I'm gonna do some running up the track in a couple weeks with Roger as well. The stall converter. I love the stall. When you're driving, there's a little delay, hesitation. You know, you hear the engine wind up a little bit before you go. It's, I love it. It's hot rodish. It makes the engine sound badass. It makes the exhaust sound good. It's a good combination with the cam. You can really feel that delay. I, I enjoy the delay. I, I kind of wish I went a little higher on the stall. I have a 3000 RPM stall converter from Edge Racing. It's actually flashing a little higher than 3000 when I'm in full drive. And you can really feel it. I mean, the low wind torque is ridiculous. You just, you, you floor it and it's, it sticks and it just goes. It's, 
pretty impressive, especially in a heavy truck like this. I think the combination with the HPT cam and a 3000 stall is an awesome combination. The only reason why I wish I went a little heavier, a little higher on the RPMs and the stalls is because I like the way it sounds. I wouldn't mind it to lay in a little more. It's just, it's badass. It's, it's hot rodish. I love it. it. Sounds, you know, reminds me of an old Chevelle or a old Mustang. And the stall install, you know, it's, as long as you have a lift and a transmission jack, you should be okay. The lines on top of the transmission are a pain in the butt. You got to get them from the front, the sides, the rear. You got to drop the wide pipe. You got to drop the rear drive shaft, the transfer case drive shaft. It's pretty simple if you, you know, if you know how to turn a wrench. Mark had that thing in and out pretty quickly. And as long as you follow the procedure of getting fluid back in the transmission, you should be good. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear the stall. Um, it's tough to notice when you doing a video I don't know how many speed bumps can be in this parking lot all right now this is at a stop right now watch it, likes to, it stays in gear better too when you're taking off normally Instead of feeling the shift, 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 it kind of stays smooth because of the stall under 3,000 RPMs. Anybody who has a stall or has had a stall put in and drives their truck loves it. It's definitely worth it. Definitely a good mod to do in your truck, especially if you're going to the track. It definitely helps with your ET. And as far as, you know, a daily, I'm a dilly driver. I'll probably go to the track two or three times this year. I mostly dilly drive this thing. Uh, you can't, very hard to tell the difference between the stock converter and a stock converter. Very difficult. And if, if you do find any difference at all, it's going to be an enjoyable difference. Because it's just fun to drive now. Again, I wish I went a higher stall. Almost 36 to 3800 would have been awesome. In, in traffic, the stall convert is fine. You know, again, there's a slight delay. You know, you give it a little bit of gas, jump up to 2,000 RPMs, but wow, you know, I, I like it. I highly recommend getting a stall converter. So I got my cam from Moe's, the HPT cam, and the stall converter from Moe's as well. The 3,000 stall edge, edge racing converter from Moe's. Um, I know Jay. Custom grind some cams that are comparable, and uh, people love his cams as well. I mean, any any cam that's that's been tr that's trusted and has been proven, go for it. Well worth it. Definitely helps with the pull when you take off, wide open throttle. Definitely more pull, more aggressive. I just passed like six Sunday drivers. They're probably upset right now, but that's okay. Of course, I had a, a white Toyota behind me. I'm trying to egg a brother on. But I'm making a video, man. I ain't trying to get in trouble. Gonna love under the bridges. Oh, uh, look at this light shining upon me right now. It's like I'm being blessed. Just driving around in grace, baby. Alright guys, you got any questions about the stall, about the cam, installation, whatever you, whatever's on your mind, let me know. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. If you're new, please subscribe, like this video. I thank you all for the support. Two Rams is a good group, a good bunch of people, good diversity. You know, there's a lot going on. Different tuners, different cams, different, different everything, you know, parts. And uh, so far, it's been, it's been pretty cool. You guys are great. I'm off to the gym. Get my sweat on. And the next video should be uh, installing that high flow light collector. See if I see a difference or maybe we'll have an install video on that. In a couple weeks, me and Roger are going up to Epping Speedway to see what his diesel truck will get and just to see what I'll run full weight on 22s. Have a little fun. All right, guys, enjoy your day. Have a good one. Stay cool.